Hello and welcome to this video. Maybe you remember this lock from the uh, video where I tried to pick five uh, Chinese locks and it's the one uh, with the broken tooth. So one of those locks, uh, this one, um, is no longer functioning because um, I managed to uh, deform the, the plug in a way so that the first key pin, key pin fell out and yeah it's dysfunctional so I thought maybe it's a good idea to uh, break this lock a little bit more to make some destructive uh, opening tests and that's why I'm here first I like to try if I can um, pull out the shackle with some force so therefore I, I clamp it into my vise and yeah try to bring some force to the locking mechanism so hope you can see that <laughs> that was not too bad. That was actually a big surprise. So the shackle itself it's uh, still intact, but uh, let's look inside. Yeah, the locking mechanism is, is broken. So the little uh, bar, the little nose that um, goes into the groove of the shackle here um, is just uh, no longer present I just uh, yeah, teared it uh, up and uh, the lock is open um, and the force I applied was actually not so much so that was a really big surprise it was really quickly opened uh, by this attack so let's continue um, I want to try to uh, cut through the shackle because um, it shouldn't be uh, possible to cut through the shackle as it says here uh, hardened I don't know if you can make this out the camera would focus hardened yeah now we can read it so it should not be possible to easily cut through the, the shackle I will, I will try that. Let me arrange the camera a little bit. Maybe like this. And this blade here is not the, the newest one. So maybe I will change the blade. <laughs> but still with this old blade, it's easily possible. cut through. I don't think that this is really hardened. Alright, so what else could we do with the lock? Um, yeah, I'll just make a pause and uh, I'll come back with new ideas. Alright, it's clamped up in the vise again and uh, yeah, I want to free the second uh, part of the shackle here and I have um, actually a very small hammer here and I will try to just beat the lock a little bit maybe um, it uh, gives uh, yeah it frees up the, the second part as well so let's try it yep and here we are just fell down <laughs> and even the the housing broke so this time this time uh, oh ah uh, the shackle um, part so the inner part is still in place as it looks like uh, but it broke into pieces and also um, destroyed um, the oops sorry destroyed the housing a little bit all right 
So how does the shackle look like? Ah, okay, I see. That's the inner part of the shaker and it uh, looks like that there's only a little uh, piece here in the middle that um, is actually responsible for, um, for holding the whole force. So I think I just hit that up. Okay. So, now we have uh, the body here. Uh, yeah, I'll make a pause again and then I'll be back with new ideas. Alright, so it's clamped up again in the vise and my idea is to um, open this lock and um, as I only have a saw um, to open it, no other uh, machines or tools, um, yeah, I first uh, uh, I, first, I first will try to cut here at, at this uh, side because this is the pin side. Uh, I want to make a cut like that, and I hope I can feel when the when the um, uh, the springs begin, and then I will I will know the depths of the cut, and then I will make a cut like uh, like this. So then all the all the pins uh, will will come out, and yeah, let's see how that goes, and then I will continue with. Uh, taking this lock apart. So let's start. Okay. Now we can see all the springs. Okay. Let me just fill this, um, them out and then I'll be back. Some of the drivers are already out. Whoops. You can see. Okay, I will continue my uh, my work and then I'll be back with a little bit more of those drivers and key pins. Hold on. Okay, all pins are out. I have 10 pins, 5 drivers and 5 key pins. So the holes are empty. And the last remaining pin, I think that's the pin that's um, um, holding the, the plug uh, from, uh, from being pulled out. And when I get this one out, I will, will be able to pull out the plug and then I can continue with uh, the complete disassembling. All right, so let me try that. Okay, I think uh, I was a little bit too offensive. Um, oops, the the plug um, is no longer available in one piece, so it fell apart. Um, and also, um, yeah, the internal mechanism now is uh, no longer. Uh, in working order, so that's that's one piece of the of the plug, and here we have the the other one. Or oh, I hope. Okay, I will uh, check the pieces that uh, jumped around, and uh, yeah, I will be back just in a second. Okay, almost all. Uh, Moving parts of the lock are out. I collect them here in this little box, but uh, this spring here is still in place. So let's try to get this out as well. And here we are. 
that's the last part. Now I think uh, the housing should be uh, empty and I will try to just make a, a cut through that uh, through in, through, um, in this direction in this plane here so that we can uh, just take it apart uh, and then we have uh, two pieces the front and the back. Okay, I will continue. Bad work, didn't, uh, the cuts didn't meet, but uh, it's already messed up, so I don't care. Oops, and here we are, it's apart. We have those two pieces, the front and the back plate. And yeah, well, I will clean up that mess and I will um, arrange the parts nicely and then we will have a look at it. Okay, hold on. So before I leave this dungeon I want to test two things because I think that this is zinc. It's of course not uh, not brass so I think it's zinc and zinc has, zinc has uh, two uh, properties. One is that it's ferromagnetic and uh, here I have a magnet. Here I have a little bit of dust and Let's see how that looks like. So it's very obvious that this uh, material here, that this type of metal is ferromagnetic. And the other property is that it is, has a melting point of, I think, 419 degrees Celsius. Uh, <laughs> it's too nice. Um, yeah, and um, I have uh, bought recently a torch and here we are here is my torch and I just want to see it melting so let's see if this goes here a piece of, of um, a piece of the, the lock that, that fell apart and yeah I wanna check if this melts away Nothing. Really, really hard. Okay, so I will stop. Nope. Hey, here I'm back again and you can see all the parts of this lock and it uh, shows you its full beauty. So what do we have? We have a shekel that can be easily cut by a saw although it stays um, hardened and also from the from the marks here from my vise you can easily see that this is not hardened. Then we have the locking bolt and it's a very thin um, end part here, so the metal part here at the end is very thin and it could have easily been damaged by my pulling attack, so that was not a real problem. And we have uh, the other side here and this type of construction is also a weak point because the diameter is very small, oops, diameter is here very small and my hammer attack could easily damage this um, as well. And they made this construction here because 
and when you unlock the the padlock, the spring tension here um, pushes out the the shackle, and it stops at some point, and that point is where this part here um, is at the at that rod here. So it stops here at that rod, and um, I don't know why they did it like this. I mean, they could have could have made it um, in a different way, not to reduce the diameter so so dramatically, because this is really weak. So it's very easy to to damage that. Okay, what else do we have? Uh, we have the spring here. Uh, it goes in like this. Oh, come on. It goes in like this, and it it pushes out the the locking bolt when the lock is in the uh, locked position and then the locking bolt um, goes in this this groove here and prevents the the shackle from from being pulled out and when you when you turn the shackle uh, when you turn the plug sorry then it retracts the the locking bolt and then it's uh, making free this area here and the shackle pops out by by the spring tension here. So it's a five pin pin tumbler as you can see. So we have five chambers. One one, two, three, four, five. And the sixth groove here is the retaining pin. And here we have the other part, other um, half of the of the plug so it has to be like this and yeah the groove here is for the retaining pin and it prevents the plug from from being pulled out all the way um, and this groove here um, also prevents the plug from being turned too much, so it uh, restricts the the rotation um, of the plug. Yeah, as I said, five uh, five pin lock. A little bit of mess, but you can uh, you can get the idea. I think um, we have five key pins and five driver pins uh, and six springs. So the six spring is for the retaining pin. Um, but on the package, which is, uh, I don't know, uh, Yalian, it's the, the same name as it is, it is printed on the lock, but everything else is not true. So the picture is not true. It's not a six pin locking mechanism. Maybe if you count the retaining pin as six pin, then it's six pins, but it's not the six pin locking mechanism. Ah, maybe it's a locking mechanism. Ah, maybe that's something different. I don't know. And we don't have a brass cylinder, so this is um, obviously not brass. Uh, regarding the material, I think still I think it's zinc. Um, although I could not uh, melt it with my torch, maybe it's a, a different um, alloy with another um, metal, which increases the melting point, or my torch was just not strong enough. I don't know. Anyhow, um, I'm done with this lock. Um, I cannot make more damage. <laughs> I had fun um, performing all those violent attacks. I hope you had fun watching this video. And yeah, what else remains? Of course, happy picking. Thanks for watching and bye bye.